The Prime Minister visited a rare earth elements processing facility in Saskatoon this morning. It's part of a three-day tour he's on to see the battery supply chain in Canada. Canada has incredible amounts of uh, the critical minerals and the rare earth elements that the world needs. But on top of just having the elements, we have uh, an incredibly strong workforce, uh, well-educated, ambitious, innovative thinkers. We have uh, reliable supply chains and trade deals with the world. And we have a level of environmental responsibility that is increasingly important uh, to customers around the world. Now that facility in Saskatoon makes up just one part of a larger plan by the federal government to supply the globe with minerals from Canada. The CBC's Janice McGregor is in Ottawa with a closer look at the government strategy. The actual uh, materials they are going to be processing here are, aren't from Saskatchewan. They come from actually the north uh, shore of Great Slave Lake. They are then brought to Saskatoon uh, for, for refining. And for now, they're going to be shipped back to Norway, actually, for additional use. But this is kind of an intermediate processing facility and an investment from an Australian company, actually. Uh, you heard the Prime Minister there talking about kind of an aspirational supply chain that he wants to have in place in Canada at a, a certain point where these rare earths eventually get into, say, the battery supply chain for electric vehicles. They're not there yet, but they need to get this processing uh, capacity into Canada. Right now, all the processing pretty much happens in Asia, China in particular. Uh, they are not comfortable with that uh, arrangement anymore. They want uh, these systems to be in North America. That is, frankly, what we were talking about at the, the Leaders' Summit with Biden and uh, the Mexican president uh, last week. Uh, so steps towards this, the federal government making a, a small investment, some point $5 million in this particular facility in Saskatoon uh, last fall to kind of help get equipment in place, move that along. But this is just one small piece in a very uh, big critical mineral strategy. We're going to hear more about from Trudeau also this week as he, he makes some additional visits uh, to battery plants and so on. The CBC's Janice McGregor in Ottawa. There was one issue looming over the Prime Minister's trip today, frustrations from Saskatchewan's Premier Scott Moe. He's upset Trudeau didn't invite him on the tour and says the visit caught him by surprise. Uh, this is another one of those points where uh, the policy and the direction of the province of Saskatchewan matches very closely with the policy and the direction of the federal government. And so that's why I was disappointed to not be informed of, of uh, you know, his presence uh, here today. Again, I said I'm not surprised because I was likely mentioned at the Three Amigos Summit by, by President Biden. Um, but, it, I, I mean, we'll work with the federal government where we can. It's just disappointing that today wasn't one of those days. The CBC's Sam Sampson is following the Premier's reaction for us from Regina. So, Sam, what exactly is it that Premier Mo is so upset about? Well, if we back up here, um, he's talking about the Leaders' Summit, which some people call the Three Amigos Summit. But even before that, uh, back in December, uh, Premier Scott Moe went to Washington, and he says that he led a delegation with Biden's administration to talk about new partnerships, potentially, for clean energy. So right now, the province does supply some parts of the United States with uranium. He wants to expand some partnerships like that. And that processing plant that we heard about earlier, just with Janice there, is a big part of that. There could be many more opportunities, he says, so he was meeting with uh, Biden's administration to talk about how maybe that could happen in the future. So fast forward to this month, that Three Amigos Summit, the Leaders' Summit, uh, Scott Moe is, uh, he told reporters today, he believes that the Prime Minister heard about his meetings, the Scott Moe meetings in Washington during that summit earlier this month. And so he says, yes, he's disappointed that he didn't know about the Prime Minister's visit to Saskatoon this morning, but he's not surprised. He's making the connection here. Yeah, we're a big deal here in Saskatchewan. We've got a lot of opportunities coming up. We told Washington about it. Justin Trudeau maybe heard about those talks, and now he's here. So he's making some connections mm. there. Okay, Sam. So what did the Prime Minister have to say in response to those comments? Uh, one of our CBC reporters asked him twice about it, and this is what he said. Uh, we've had uh, lots of uh, great opportunities to make announcements with uh, with Premier Mo over the over the years. Uh, the government of Saskatchewan is an important partner on many different issues. Uh, at the same time, we also know uh, there's work to be done on encouraging the government of Saskatchewan to see the opportunities that companies and indeed uh, workers are seeing in uh, a clean uh, a cleaner jobs, in uh, the opportunities for uh, cleaner energy project projects. Uh, these are things that we're going to continue to work on, but uh, I'm always happy to work with the government of Saskatchewan to deliver good jobs uh, for workers across Saskatchewan. 
Uh, so then she asked him again, but why not invite him? And the prime minister generally repeated what he said there. So uh, we're not quite clear why the premier of Saskatchewan was not invited to this tour of a processing plant that is in Saskatchewan, in Saskatoon. Uh, but uh, again, the premier here says he's disappointed. He wanna ha wanted to have talks about potential partnerships uh, with the federal government in the future uh, with face to face with the prime minister but he didn't get that opportunity today i will point out that the leader of the opposition here in saskatchewan that's the ndp called premier scott moe's comments childish and said that the province of saskatchewan should be focused on creating more opportunities in the future and showing saskatchewan's potential especially when it comes to clean energy sam thank you the cbc sam sampson live in regina